Okay, peeps, today I'm going to tackle this problem that I ran into, which is removing the transmission line hose from the radiator. This is on a 97 Dodge uh, 1500. So some people like myself will get to the point of, hey, I took my radiator off, everything was a piece of cake. Then you come down to this son of a bitch line right here that does not want to pull off by itself. And come to find out that you need a special tool that you're supposed to have to get this thing off. It's got some interlocking clamps inside of this piece here. And you're supposed to have a special tool that pushes into there and releases it. But if you're like me and you got to this point where you already have your shit pulled out of your truck and now you're stuck. What I went ahead and did is I took a look at the tool, figured out how it worked, and just went ahead and jimmied my own tool. So basically what it is is that you need something that can push into here in between the cylinder and the hose and release those clamps. So what I did is I took an old milk carton and I cut myself out a little piece of plastic here. And basically looped it around the hose piece here. Sorry about the camera angle. Wrapped it around as tight as I could. And then what you do is you just push it. Try to get a better angle here. I'm trying to do this with one hand and everything's all slippery now. The transmission flew because I already did it. But basically you would take that piece of plastic and you now push it in to the nozzle and basically yeah that's what would happen you push it into there and then pull and see this little rib right here is what it was clamped onto and you'll see I don't know if you can see but there's little teeth inside of there and there's like four of them and they all have to be pushed in at the same time and this is why you had to have that little piece of plastic here to kind of push them in all the teeth at the same time then releasing your hose hope that helps you guys if you're stuck definitely helped me um, avoided me from having to walk or ride my bike in the sun to the uh, auto parts store or uh, anything else like that now I can move on with my swap peace